All right, Larry Kruger here from the Pig and a Pickle Kruger Show with a little 49er video ahead of training camp. And check out Pig and a Pickle, two locations. They're in Emeryville and Corte Madera. They're open seven days a week in Marin from 11 a.m. to 8 p.m. And in Emeryville, they're open Wednesday through Sunday. Pig and a Pickle, the best barbecue in all of Northern California. Check them out. You will not be disappointed. Uh, get the brisket, get the brisket chili. All right, let's talk about the Niners and the quarterbacks and what the money tells us, because I think this is kind of a interesting angle that we haven't really explored. The Niner quarterback salaries, I think, tell you a little bit about where we're at in this competition as well and kind of the stakes for all four of these quarterbacks. Now, let's start with Brock Purdy. Brock Purdy's tied in a, on a rookie deal. So he's a, absolutely one of the best deals in the NFL. The Niners are only going to pay him 800 and seventy thousand dollars, just dirt cheap for any kind of a quality quarterback, um, and that gives them a lot of freedom in a lot of other areas to spend money on under the cap. So that's what Purdy's making. Um, Sam Darnold has the twelfth highest cap hit on the entire team at five million dollars. Brandon and and then Trey Lance has the fifth highest cap hit on the team. Um, he makes $9.3 million with a base salary of only $940,000, but um, another $8 million or so in bonus money coming to Lance. So he's got the – Lance is the fifth highest cap rate on the team. Darnold has the 12th highest cap hit, I should say, on the team. And then that brings us to, to Brandon Allen. Brandon Allen's a really interesting story here. Uh, when you look at kind of the way raw quarterbacks, this guy was the number two quarterback to Joe Burrow last season in Cincinnati. And if you look at just like the NFL minimum salary for a veteran, the NFL minimum salary is $750,000 this year. And that's up $45,000 from what it was a year ago. Um, and then when you look at Brandon Allen, he really, I mean, he I would say most people would say Purdy's the one Either Darnold or Lance is the two. The other is the three, and Allen would be the four. Well, you're not going to keep four quarterbacks on the roster. So um, did Allen really leave Cincinnati and where, you know, he made over a million dollars last year to come to the 49ers and, you know, earn very little? Because players on the NFL practice squads earn a minimum of about 11 five every week. So that adds up for the entire season to $207,000. So when you look at what the Niners have slated to pay Allen, Allen is slated to make $1,080,000 from the 49ers if he makes the 53-man roster. But if he doesn't make the 53-man roster and he goes on to the Niner practice squad, he'll make $207,000. Brandon Allen is gambling big time on himself or he doesn't mind taking an $873,000 pay cut to be the 49ers emergency backup practice squad quarterback. That is hard to believe. And I talked to a couple of my agent friends around the league this week, and they said, you know, I wouldn't have signed Brandon Allen with the 49ers for that reason right there. Um, but there's also a chance that Brandon Allen really wanted to be here, believes that he can maybe either beat out Sam Darnold or Trey Lance, and make a million dollars, which would be an upgrade on what he made a year ago. But if he doesn't, and maybe if he doesn't make it, maybe he feels like, well, they'll have to waive me. Some other team will pick me up and I'll be able to find a deal somewhere close to what I made last year. So maybe he feels like, hey, I'll take a shot with the Niners. And if he, if he makes it, great. He's making a million dollars and playing with the 49ers. And if by chance he doesn't make it, he won't go on the practice squad. He'll leave. He'll go somewhere else at the cut down and he'll make close to a million dollars, he hopes, somewhere else. So that's interesting. Um, the fact that Brandon Allen came here after being a number two last year to being a number four after being in Cincinnati, uh, that that's, you know, as the as the number two making, you know, probably code between 750000 and a million, and now you're looking at the potential if Lance and Darnold and Purdy are all in front of you, that you're going to be on the Niner practice squad making $207,000. That's a huge, huge pay cut for Brandon Allen. So I found that kind of interesting. So either Brandon Allen either has no confidence um, or he's got tremendous confidence in himself and thinks that he's going to beat out Darnold and or Lance and wind up with a million-dollar-plus contract and be on the 49ers, 
or or he doesn't have a lot of confidence and he feels like, hey, I'll maybe he didn't have a lot of interest. He hasn't had a ton of success in the NFL. Maybe he feels like, hey, 207 grand is fine. I'll be on the practice squad and I'm a phone call away from playing in an offense that has a bunch of great weapons. So I don't know exactly how Brandon Allen is looking at it, but that is a huge difference. The difference between the NFL minimum at 750 and the pat practice squad cost at 207 seems very odd that he a guy would pass up a guaranteed 750 to potentially make 200,000 here. So that is interesting. The other one is Sam Darnold. He signed with the Niners on day one of free agency for a $1.9 million base salary, 1.8 million in, in bonuses. Um, he's got the 12th highest cap hit on the team at five plus million dollars to be San Francisco's third quarterback, you know? And so it made me think, well, wait, wait a second here. What, what about the other third quarterbacks in the NFL? What are those guys making or at least in the NFC? So I decided to look at it. This is who the third quarterbacks are in the NFC. Tanner McKee in Philly doesn't make anything. He's a rookie. Sh- uh, Shane Buscelli is the chiefs, uh, third string quarterback. Uh, Brett Rippon is the three in, with the Rams. Holton Ehlers is the three with um, Seattle. He's a rookie. Um, Clayton Toon, who's going to make 830000 He's the number three with Arizona. Dallas's three is Will Greer. J- Green Bay, and he makes a mill, uh, roughly a mill. Dan- Danny Etling is the Green Bay three. The Giants three is the rookie Tommy DeVito. The Lions rookie is, or the Lions third quarterback is the rookie Hendon Hooker. Uh, Tampa Bay's three is John Wofford. Minnesota's three is Jaron Hall. He's a rookie. Atlanta's three is Jordan uh, Logan Woodside. He makes a million bucks. Uh, Carolina's three is Matt Corral. He's making a million. Uh, the Bears' three is Nathan Peterman. He makes a million. Uh, New Orleans has got Jake Hayner, and then Washington has Jake Fromm. Those got the basically every single third string quarterback in the NFC, at least, makes about a million or less. The Niners are going to pay either Sam Darnold to be number three at five million, or they're going to pay Trey Lance to be number three at nine million dollars. So that I thought was really, really interesting when you think about the difference in what the 49ers are going to pay their third string quarterback compared to every other team in football. So uh, Lance, as I said, on the uh, has a $9.3 million cap hit, fifth highest on the team. Is it possible that they could keep a $9.3 million third quarterback? It's going to be interesting. That, to me, is going to be one of the real interesting questions as this thing goes forward, if by chance Darnold is the two and Trey's the three, at least to start the year. how you know Will the Niners keep Trey Lance at $9.3 million as their third quarterback? Or will they try to go cheaper and, and move one of these quarterbacks? The other thing that I will say is kind of interesting is that when you look at how good, you know, Darnold or Lance is relatively as a third quarterback, and then you look at Brandon Allen compared to the guys I just listed for you as third quarterbacks, the 49ers, you know, they may be able to trade any of the four quarterbacks that John Lynch doesn't think is going to make the team. So no matter how the thing goes, Let's say Brock's healthy and he's going to be your one. If Trey beats out Darnold, but um, you know Brandon Allen looks better than Darnold, then maybe you trade Darnold. Um, if 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 somehow Darnold looks better than uh, and Allen looks the second best, then maybe you trade Lance. Maybe you trade Allen. But the Niners may have a trade. They may be able to trade one of their quarterbacks um, because none of their they all appear to be too good to be a fourth string quarterback. And I, and, and the one that's the most mystifying of all of it, why did Brandon Allen, who was a backup to Joe Burrow last year, the number two guy decide to come to San Francisco to be the number four guy and maybe make 207,000 instead of a million dollars. Maybe the Niners have promised Brandon Allen that at the end of uh training camp or at the cut down, if he's not going to make the team, um, you know, they'll just cut them loose and maybe, maybe, you know, maybe at least Brandon, maybe there's no deal there, but maybe Brandon Allen's agent feels, Hey, you know what? We'll take a shot with the Niners. If it doesn't work, maybe somebody will pick us up on waivers and we'll be able to sign a deal for somewhere between seven fifty and a million and, and, uh, and find a home right before the season starts. But it is interesting. It really shows that Brandon Allen either really believes that he can beat out one of these other quarterbacks for the job 
or for a job and get at least a minimum NFL, you know, it would be a million dollars is what he would get if he were a Niner. Or, you know, maybe it's just one of those deals where he figures, you know what, I'll take a shot with the Niners with all these weapons. Maybe I'll look good in the preseason um, and some team might lose a quarterback and maybe pay me a little bit more than that uh, because I do so well in preseason. I'd be very interested to hear Brandon Allen's perspective on what he's going to embark on this summer in 49er camp and how he views his chance to make the roster, uh, his chances to be on the practice squad as opposed to uh, maybe at being cut loose right at the cut down and winding up as a number two or number three in a different in a different locale. So a lot of interesting stuff in my mind when it comes to the 49ers and what they are paying their quarterbacks. All right, hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks to Pig and a Pickle for being our title sponsor. Thanks to all you guys for supporting the Krug Show on YouTube.